off-the-peg products only really work for people that tend to be standard size. The further you get away from standard size, the less those products actually fit you. If you look at a, a bespoke product, it undoubtedly gives, gives far more value because it, it, it's been personally constructed for the consumer with the involvement of the consumer. There are various things that draw people to bespoke. We get a lot of customers who come to us because they have a very clear vision of a style of shoe that they want and it's something that they can't find and they know that if they come to us they can trust us to deliver that vision they've got in their head. It's style, comfort, because they have foot problems or just because they appreciate having something created for them, the individuality. I've um, ordered what might well be described as a rather art-moded style. I, I, I found it in a catalogue um, from about 1910. Um, I think I would perhaps describe it as a spat boot. And I've also got a, a, a slightly purple lining in it, which obviously nobody's going to see, but I know it's there, and I know that I've got something that's really special just for me. People are not only buying a, a pair of shoes which will be comfortable and last them 15 or 20 years or more if they polish them regularly, but they're also buying an experience. We build a relationship with them and they're involved in the process and their input is really essential in how the shoes end up looking and so when they get their shoes and they're wearing them day to day they have a really personal relationship with them. James and I are both the makers and the business owners. So when a client comes to see us they're meeting the person who's actually going to be making the shoes. Which is different to just going into a shop, seeing a pair of shoes, trying them on, buying them. You don't know where they're from, you don't know who's made them, you don't know where the, le where the leathers come from, you, ac you know absolutely nothing about them. I mean, the way we make is totally sort of counter to consumerism and the fast pace of life as things are today. You know, people want it yesterday. You just consume and consume and consume. And that actually takes out some of the pleasure. People over the generations are losing that, that kind of appreciation of, of what a pair of shoes should be. People buy them, they wear out in a year and then they throw them away and they don't really value them and look after them. And I think what we're, the way we make shoes, I know it's for a very small group of people who can afford it, but we're kind of preserving that, that idea of shoes being something to value and something to look after and something to treasure.